Hey guys, it's Jason of Stealthy SK, and I'm here to bring you a showcase slash guide to the Chaos Orb Recipe Enhancer. I'm going to start by first demonstrating what it does, and then I'll go into details on how to set it up, since a lot of people are asking how to get it working, since there's a lot of settings. Just a heads up before I start, when the new patch releases, so will a new enhancer, so make sure you re-download it when the patch comes out. So what this essentially does is it automates the process to making the Chaos Orb Recipe. To make it, you need one of each item, level 64 through 75. If it's unidentified, you'll get two back. If even one of them are identified, you'll get one chaos back. So this will optimize the placements in your inventory, so it'll highlight in order for you to be able to fit two sets into one inventory. So I'm going to open the stash, and I have my first stash set as the stash allocated to the chaos orb recipe. You can do this for any of your stashes, but I chose this one. So if I open up the add-on, it'll highlight the items I need to click. So I need one chest, two one-handed weapons, a helmet, some gloves, boots, um, and all the accessories. And there we go, that's one set. And like I said, if you do it right, you'll be able to fit two of them in there. So I'm going to get the robe, again the two-handed weapons, all the rest of the equipment. And there we go, that's two of them. I think I actually misclicked this one. Once you have a mini inventory, you can go ahead and close the menu, and then you can go to anyone that sells. So we're gonna go to Lonnie, go to sell items, and to fit all these in here, you're gonna put the biggest items in first, um, so you have enough space in here. So I'm gonna put all the big items, and then the accessories and one-handers. And there we go, that's four chaos. 4 chaos may not seem like that much, but for beginning of the league, it is a crazy amount to be getting like every couple maps. One more thing before I go and show you the settings, I'm going to show you how it looks when it's dropped on the ground. So you can change these colors to anything you want, but it'll, for the items that can be used for the orb recipe, it'll show up as different colors. So I put this on the ground, this, so you'll, you'll know right away which items to pick up. Now that I'm done showing it off, I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to set it up. I have this GitHub link down below, but once you get it, you're going to download the Chaos Recipe Enhancer Setup.msi. Once you have that set up, it will open this menu, and this is where most people get confused. To start off, to get your account name and session ID, you're going to go to poe.com or pathofexile.com. So for me, it would be Stealthy as my account name, which is represented here. And then to get your session ID, you press Control shift i That'll open the inspect element. Once you have that open, you're going to go to Application, Cookies, your most recent cookie, and then PoE session ID, you're going to copy this value. So this value could be used maliciously, so keep it to yourself. For the league, obviously you're going to put whatever league you're in. Um, it's going to be the next league, so it's going to be Crucible. Um, so you have to re-download this when it comes out and then click crucible on this for the recipes um, You can do multiple recipes, but we're gonna go for only the chaos world recipe for now as far as a full set threshold This just caps out how many of the items you're gonna have highlighted on the ground Based on how many you have in your stash So if I have five of these in my stash, they'll no longer be highlighted on the ground this just makes it so you don't overcap on items like have 20 armors, 10 helmets, and only one ring. So for target stash, you're going to have it in my stash unless you plan on putting stuff within guild stash, which is kind of rare. So I assume you're going to want it on my stash. And for the ID, just keep it ID. Now this is kind of where they made it a little bit confusing. Um, I'm putting the number zero, which will be represented in my stash as the first stash. So it counts from the left starting at zero. So this would be zero. 1, 2, 3, etc. If you choose prefix or suffix, it just goes based off the name. So the prefix would be 32, the suffix would be stash, and it would go to the stash. The reason would to do that would be so you can move it around and then not change which stash it's going to. Now moving on to the hotkeys, you can put these to whatever you want, but I'll explain what they do real quick. Fetch stash contents will just be updating the number of how much you have of each. So it says I have 3 gloves, 2, and then 18 rings. So once you have one of each, you're going to press your stash tab overlay. And what that'll do is it'll highlight like it did at the beginning of the video to be able to choose the items in the order. To double check you put the right ID, you're going to open your stash tab overlay. And in small text up here, it'll say the name of the stash it's connected to. So for me, it says 32 stash. 
when you first download it it won't come exactly centered so you can click edit at the top and you're gonna drag it to where it's over every box um, it'll also have lines to direct you with all that set up all you're gonna do is click your toggle stash tab overlay button open up your inventory and press it and there you go you're able to use the recipe enhancer again you can fit two sets in here so I'll demonstrate that one more time and then you go and sell it for the rest of the settings if you go to overlays this is just the color that it changes when you go and open the inventory and press the button now if you're using any sort of loop filter you're definitely going to want to put the loop filter manipulation on so you can tab it on and you're going to click and you're going to go to your documents my games path of exile and click whatever filter you're using if you don't do that it won't pop up the colors you have set right here speaking of which this is how you change the color of each equipment in terms of the always active the reason they have it auto set to rings, amulets, and belts, it's because it's the smallest items, so it doesn't take up a lot of room in the inventory. But you can put whatever you want as always active. I would recommend just keeping it here because there's a reason you put your full set threshold as 5. So that means the rings can go over 5 and so can the amulets and belts. Speaking of which, 5 is just an arbitrary number. You can actually fit 16 sets into a squad task tab, so 16 would be your max. Now that you've done all that, you're pretty much done with the settings. A few more things to recognize. Um, you can do the Regal and Exalted Shard recipes. You also can include identified items, which if you have even one of them in the recipe, it'll give you one instead of two chaos. Um, and it, you can also have it set so it always shows icons on map, so you'll know where the color is for the equipment you're looking for. Besides that, you're good to go. I would appreciate a like if this helped at all, and a subscribe for more content coming up soon. Thanks.